turn right. Welcome back, yo, to another episode of Fishing More Outdoors. Not sure if the old thumbnail and title says down below, but I am on my way to a really, really nice permanent fish house. Apparently they've been catching some pretty good walleyes, and uh, here in Minnesota, we only have like a week and a half left of walleye fishing, so I gotta get on them while I can. Anyway, stay tuned. It should be a really good time. I'm gonna be cooking some really good food, and yeah, hope you all enjoy. Let's go. Sweet. Push up. Push up. Am I just a pussy? Maybe. And just like that. We have arrived to the fish house. And let me tell you, it is slippery out here in the old Jordan. So check out this fish house, y'all. I already got all my stuff all packed in here. Got my totes and stuff, but whoa. Look at this thing, y'all. Like I said in the intro, they've been getting some pretty good walleyes out here the past couple of nights. It sounds like uh, they've actually caught in six walleyes over 27 inches, so... Really cross my fingers we can get ourselves at least one tank tonight. And I'm crossing my fingers we can get one to, to eat tonight, too. I'm going to do a little surf and turf, I think. But before we get all dialed, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little tour. Right when you walk in the door here, you got a nice glacier rug here to wipe your feet on. Then you go to the right. Obviously, we got a TV with Garmin Live Scope on it so we could see every line down tonight. Looks like we got some nice storage in here. Not really gonna need that today, I don't think, though. I got all my stuff here, but super nice leather couch with a pull-up bed above the couch. To the left here, we got a nice little kitchen area with a microwave and stove. Pretty cool when you're out fishing and you have access to a microwave. Yeah, got some more cupboards here, more, more storage and whatnot. Got some more storage up here. Over here, we got a nice little kitchen table type thing. And then above the table and bench seats, we got ourselves a nice little pull-up bed. That's where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. I'm going to go ahead and keep that up for now, though. Moving more to the left, we have another TV here. And we're going to be having the quad aqua view once again. But I am currently waiting on a cord for that. They're going to be bringing it to me real soon here. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I am super excited. This fish house is so nice and new. It, it even smells new. I can smell that new fresh wood. But yeah, stay tuned. I have a bunch of stuff to unpack. I'm gonna get all dialed for the night. Really quick too, I do want to give the hugest shout out to right here, icefishmn.com. If any of y'all are in the Brainerd Lakes area, I know it's pretty late in the season, but Hit them up if you ever want to get out in a nice fish house like this. Even if it's next winter or something. These guys are super cool dudes, super nice, and yeah, they'll get you out in a nice fish house just like this one. Or maybe even this exact one. Anyway, stay tuned. I have a ton of stuff to unpack, and the walleyes actually probably won't be biting for like an hour or two, so. Hang tight. Let's get some walleyes in a little bit here. Dog. Little update, yo! Once again, huge shout out to Icefish MN for bringing me some rainbow chubs. Apparently, the hot bite for walleyes has been the rainbow chubs, and all I could find was. Sucker minnows, shiners, and fatheads. And then also, they brought me out my cord, so I got the quad aqua view on this TV now. As you can see right here, maybe there's a tiny little perch down there, and then here's my rattle reel. 
These things are so cool. You can literally see every, like, every direction down there. And then I don't know if you just seen... Whoa, it's gone. I put... Okay, it's just the minnow. I, I put a giant sucker minnow on here because there's lots of pike. And then I have three bobbers on there because I don't have a big enough bobber. Since it's daytime and the walleyes aren't really cruising quite yet, uh, there is lots of decent pike roaming around. So I figured I'd put that down for trying to catch a big old pike. And honestly, if nothing hits that tonight, I could see a big old mama walleye smoking that thing. Anyways, yeah, stay tuned. We are officially all dialed now. I got all my stuff cleaned up. Got myself a nice bubbler cracked. I'm gonna be pretty much just chilling till sundown, so yeah. Wish me luck. Hopefully we can get some good walleyes tonight. Bike, 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 bike didn't get it on camera but i'm pretty sure that pike just came in and smoked the sucker minnow <gasps> Go. yes no the how i don't think it's big oh 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 pikey come here boy oh no Okay. Here we go. First fish of the trip. Just a little pikey. I didn't get to see him on the aqua view, but I seen him on the old live scope just fly in quick and smoke it. But anyways, he's freaking freaking out. Let's get him back. Whoa. Let him go. Let him grow to be a 40 incher. Not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and get that re-rigged with another big old sucker minnow. See if we can't catch his grandma. What is that? Could it be? Fat pike? Whoa. Does he have my bait? <laughs> he does have my bait. That's hilarious. <laughs> Got him. Dude, this is decent, I think. Oh. Ooh. It looked fat. I only got to see it for a second. But oh, dude. That's a nice... Nice bike. My freaking sinker slid all the way up. Look at that boy. Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, okay, okay. Holy crap, dude. That ain't no dinker. It's a little fatty. Hell yeah, dude. That's hilarious. I'm watching it, and then I look over, and my bobber's gone. Whoa, buddy. Look at that. Not bad at all. This thing's got a freaking gut on him. <laughs> thing is super pretty, too, and crazy. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> dude. All right, this guy's crazy. One more look at him. Let's get him back. Grab his tail. Look at that cut on this thing. This sucker's got some, some fur in him, let me tell ya. you. Ready to go, buddy? Oh, 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 that was freaking pretty cool. Not bad at all. A quaker that size? I'll catch him freaking every time. Hey, right, stay tuned. About to get re rigged do that again. Before we do get too far into today's video, I do want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by PC Fun. I don't have my rod box on me, but I'm not fooling. Literally every single one of my rods has the same reel on it. The PC Fun Carbon X. They do make a ton other reels, but the Carbon X has definitely been my favorite and just the reel that I've spent the most time with. They are super nice reels. They got buttery drag, and the best part is they are are super affordable. PC Fun also has a bunch of other ice fishing stuff such as shelters and like ice fishing suits and rods and like I mentioned they have a bunch of other reels also. I'm gonna leave a link down below in my description. I'll also leave a link down in the comments or you can just head to PCFun.com. Go check them out. Super super good quality stuff and very affordable. Houston we've got another bike. Yoink! Yeah. Little. Little turd. Yup. Come here, buddy. Get you unhooked. Goodbye. Got ourselves another pipe down there. And he's got my bait. 
once again, this one does not look that big. Feels a little bigger than the last one. Eh, I think it's pretty small. Yeah. Calm yourself. Cool. You definitely gotta be careful with these boys. They got lots of teeth. Gotcha. Jesus. Definitely. Chill. 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 The hook is sitting on my hand. Oh, that was sketchy. Let's see you, buddy. Ugh. Just about out of paper towels just from catching pike. That last one messed me up a little. Got something cruising in on the live scope. And what do you know? We got another pike. Looks like he's dipping. I'm starting to not be able to see all the screens very good, y'all, because it's getting so dark, but I'm about to, is, yeah, touch screen. I'm going to reposition it to this screen because I just uh, readjust the cord here, so I got my bait literally right in the middle of the screen, and this is the brightest one, so no more quad. We're just using the single camera, and as you can see, we got Birchie. There's a Birchie. And also, I'm about to pull this rattle reel and get start jigging. Come on, buddy. I don't even know if you guys can see it. I can barely see it. Oh, you can see it. It's not very big. It's just a little fish. Dude. What is that? Uh, I think it's just a pike. A little Mike. Oh, I sat down and he freaking dipped. Well, y'all, don't really look like it, but it is pretty much complete with darkness outside, and the camera's getting pretty hard to see, so I'm about to try turning on the light, see if that helps a little bit. Man, it's still pretty, pretty dark. How's it looking in this camera, though? Pretty dark, but maybe if walleye comes in. We'll be able to see it. I really hope we can get a walleye soon. I am starting to get pretty hungry. Like I said earlier, I did bring a steak out to cook, but I really want to do a surf and turf. That sounds so good. I don't know if I mentioned it either, but I got some bacon mac and cheese too. I'm going to be whipping up. Anyway, stay tuned. I want to catch a walleye pretty soon here. Can't see it on the aqua view, but that looks like a pretty good mark. Please hit my bait and please be a walleye. It's kind of looking walleye. Oh, smash it. And my minnow is too strong. And he's swimming away. Tell oh, y'all what, before it gets, this could probably stay, but I don't want my steak to get frozen or something. It's getting pretty chilly out here, so I'm gonna bring my little cooler inside. Just let this sit right here. Well, you can't see a dang thing on the old aqua view, y'all. I'm getting a little bit bored. Whoa, what's this? What is it? A rock bass? No way. A little baby rock bass. Not even gonna cap. If this boy was bigger, I'd eat it. Rock bass are really good to eat, especially. What the heck? Despite what people might think, rock bass are actually, like, super tasty, especially in the winter. Another one? Oh. He's got it. Got him? Little, again. Same fish. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You're not a walleye. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm gonna pull up the aqua view. Hopefully get some... YouTube going or something. Check this out, y'all. This is the camera for the quad aqua view. Pretty crazy. Nice. Sure. <laughs> oh. oh. 
this movie is a freaking classic. Banger of a movie. Oh. Oh. What is this? About to get hit by maybe another rock bass? Got him. Tiny. Another rock bass. Is this the same one? Just over and over and over and over? Such a pop of a movie. Please. <laughs> Little Betty, but Rock Bass? Bluegill? Oh, my lantern. That's freaking unexpected. Bluegill full of fleas. Tell you what, if you didn't have fleas, I'd probably eat them. Wow. What is this? This is huge. Please. Oh. No way. No way. What was that? This gotta be a tulipy. Or a whitefish. No clue what those were, but one of them was like three feet long. Pretty sure they're big whitefish or tulipy. I'm not really sure what's in this lake, but they were super aggressive, almost like a lake trout or something, and obviously there's not trout in the lake I'm fishing. Still waiting on a walleye. Oh yeah. A little bubbler action. About to start another movie. Shallow Hal. Oh, what is this? What was that? Old school Jack Black. I'm talking. Just another banger. Also, I really want to catch a walleye soon. I am pretty hungry. If I don't catch one within like a half an hour or so, I think I might just send the old ribeye. I am getting freaking pretty hungry. I think I'm going to give up on trying to catch a walleye for my surf and turf. And I think I'm just going to have some turf. I do have some mac and cheese for a side, like I mentioned. So it should be all dialed. But man, I really wanted to get a walleye with my steak. Anyway, stay tuned. Maybe we'll catch a walleye as I'm cooking this. But I don't know. It's hard to say. I haven't even been marking a whole lot of fish the last like hour now. So... Yeah. First things first. I'm gonna need some stuff out of here. Gonna need this. Gonna need this. Hmm. Perfect. Ooh, look at that sucker. Ribeye. Grab this. That looks like a pretty good hunk of meat. I got some seasonings up in here. And I actually got a new seasoning I'm going to try. A lady at my local smokehouse recommended it to me. Honey Chipotle Killer Bee. I'm sure it's going to be pretty bomb. I'm going to use some pepper too. Salt, pepper, and that. A little pepper. on the stove there's just high and low so I gotta kind of try to find a medium high Maybe like right there grab my Japanese knife and we're gonna want a lot of butter like three teaspoons maybe even three and a half teaspoons key to a good steak lots of butter 
This is like a really cheap, really thin camping pan, by the way. So this might be a little hard to cook, but I'm sure it'll be all right. Just might be a little, the outside might be a little black, but I don't mind that at all, as long as the inside's nice and pink. Ooh, and while that butter's melting, might as well grab my mac and cheese. Pretty sure, yep. I'm just gonna sauce this in the microwave. Heat on high, two minutes, stir. Okay, this is only gonna take five minutes to cook, so we'll wait on this. Maybe I can get it ready. Okay, we don't wanna burn, we don't wanna burn the butter. It's already getting, it's already looking pretty dialed. Grab our steak. Sauce that right in there, get that butter everywhere. And I'm gonna set a timer for uh, four minutes. After four minutes, I'll flip it, cook it another four minutes. Yeah, the steak doesn't look like crazy thick enough and I'll probably give it like three and a half minutes per side. Then it should be dialed. Turn this up just a tad. Just a tad. And just so I don't kill the generator with the TV. I'm gonna shut off the, the TVs just for just till I'm done cooking. It's been three and a half minutes. Grab our fork. Ooh, shoot. Definitely a little jarred. I don't mind though, but I am gonna turn this down just a little bit. And while this is cooking too, I'm gonna get a bunch of this butter. Let's get that all over top of it. Oh shoot. Three minutes, 30 seconds. Ho oh, ho ho. This is smelling insane. Oh shit. Okay. If you guys could smell this back home, holy crap, it smells good. Get some more of this butter. Ooh, this smells good too. Thirty seconds left on this. Oh, it's perfect now. Don't let you know. Don't let this black stuff get you worried. It's, I'm thinking. Pretty sure this is still gonna be nice and bloody in the middle. All right. And another three and a half minutes complete. Oh, look at that. That is. Mm, that's more like it. This side's perfect. All right, mac and cheese only has a minute left. I'm gonna let this rest for f five minutes probably. And then we about to feast. Whew, it's hot. Yeah. Let's set these over here. All right, done with the microwave. Turn the TVs back on. Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Sure, why not? Alright, y'all. It's been a solid three, four minutes. I'm gonna cut into this sucker, see how we did. Moment of truth. It's perfect. I'm talking perfect. Look at that piece of meat there, boy. And boys and girls. <laughs> Before I dish up some mac and cheese, let's give a little taste test. My mouth's watering. Oh. 
Holy crap, I crushed that. So freaking juicy. Super tender. And that honey chipotle killer bee seasoning. Pretty good. Whoa. Shoot, tell you what. Might as well not dirty anything else. <laughs> no way I'm eating all of this. I'm going to try my best, though. All right. Got myself a little spot cleared. I need to eat another piece of the steak pronto. Good. I crushed this. Like, literally, to me, that is absolutely perfect. And look at this. So tender. Let's see what this mac and cheese is all about. Bomb. Get a little steak and mac and cheese. Legit. 10 out of 10. Stay tuned, y'all. I'm starving. And this is bomb. I'm about to absolutely house this. Well, pretty much got everything all cleaned up. Just about finished that entire steak, but I just couldn't do it. I am so freaking full. So we got three little strips left, or three and a half strips left. I was planning on doing some breakfast, so looks like we're gonna have some steak and eggs in the morning. That was phenomenal. That was so good. I freaking crushed that steak. Once again, the thing was so juicy and tender, just... Anyways, I am about to go in a coma pretty soon here. I am so full. Stay tuned. I'm going to be kicking it for a little bit, watching this movie. Hopefully, I can get at least one walleye throughout the night or something. What do you know? Another Rocky. Little turd. Holy crap. Could it be... A walleye? Oh, yeah! A walleye. Walleye! <laughs> Let's go, baby! <laughs> nice one, too. Dudes, let's go. Just kind of wish we got this like an hour ago before I cooked that steak because this is a perfect eater. What's that? Oh, it's semen. I thought it was a tag. Looks like we got a little mail here. <laughs> well, since I'm not going to be eating this thing tonight, I think I'm just going to let him go. See ya, feller. Do that again. Woo! Nice little ladder. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Yo, it is now 10.48. Since I caught that walleye, it has been super duper slow. Like, I don't know if I've even marked another perch. Reeled up my jig rod, put the rattle reel back down, and I did leave my bobber rod down, but I put the aqua view on top of, like, the, the butt of the rod so that I don't lose it in the middle of the night. Yeah, I think I'm about to pass out. 
really soon here. We had ourselves a freaking good day today. Even though we only caught one walleye, caught some pike, got some rock bass, got a bluegill. It was a pretty freaking fun day. And we got to eat some bomb steak. You know, I was pretty bummed. I didn't get a walleye to go with that steak. And once again, pretty pumped I didn't because that was a lot of food with that mac and cheese too. I didn't even finish all my steak. I don't know. I just wanted the mix. I love freaking surf and turf. Anyway, stay tuned. This light is really bright. Uh, if I catch a walleye or something in the middle of the night, I'll show you guys. If not, we will see you guys in the morning. Night, night. Dudes. 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 Oh, shit. This is a giant. Giant. Not giant. But, okay, hold on. <gasps> nice walleye. Nice walleye. Not a giant. Not a giant, but it's a nice one. Okay, it's it could be a giant. It looks pretty big. Oh. Oh. Pretty good. Come on, buddy. Come here. I can't get him. Tanker. <laughs> That's upper 20s. Holy crap. All right. Hold on. I'm going to set up my tripod and stuff. A little time check for y'all. It is like 1130. Sitting here watching Norbit. Just about passed out. And bam. Big old freaking walleye. I don't have a tape or nothing out here. So... We're not gonna know for sure, but definitely upper 20s. This is a freaking nice one. All right, stay tuned. I'm gonna crush a pick really quick, and then I'm gonna let this sucker go. Alrighty, we got some good pictures. Time to let this big mama go. Oh man, just got me soaked, dude. Got my I was laying down watching Norbit and I looked over at the panoptic and just seen a big old mark swimming right and I leaned over looked down and my bobber was gone. That's freaking intense. I both fell out of the bunk too because I just jumped out. Alright, I'm gonna set that rod back up. I'm gonna crawl back up to bed. See y'all in the morning unless something like that happens again. Night night. Good morning y'all. My bobber is gone. Nice. Nice. Calm down, buddy. Another walleye. Oh, I think it's currently like seven o'clock. Get a various full release on this boy. And it's still pretty early. I'm about to crawl back up to bed for a little bit. Good morning, y'all. Holy fuck, it's this light is bright. Good morning, y'all. It's currently 8.45 after I caught that last walleye. Definitely fell back asleep for a little bit. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm about to get out of bed. Use the restroom. Yeah, I'm about to freaking fire up some breakfast. Egg action. Little bit of butter. I was going to 
cook up some bacon. I got some of that in there, but I'm gonna cook up this steak instead. We grab our niblets. Bam! I was pretty impressed with how much of that steak I ate last night. Only four little pieces left. Seems clean enough. I'm gonna cut these in half. Eggs are definitely done. Let this heat up a little bit longer. While well, this pan's nice and hot, go ahead and clean it. Best way to clean a pan when you're camping is right when you're done cooking, when it's still hot. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. About to get some more YouTube ripping while I eat this. It's a good freaking steak. Just got done absolutely destroying them eggs and steak, y'all. And not sure how, but I ended up back in my bed. But anyways, y'all, about to hang out for a little bit. And then I'm about to start packing up and I'm going to take off. I had a pretty sweet time out here. Got some really good fish. Got a real nice pike and we got a real nice walleye late last night. And we got two other walleyes. So three walleyes total. Got like five pike, rock bass, perch, bluegill, freaking pretty solid night. And one more time, hugest shout out to Icefish MN for uh, getting me out here. I know it's pretty late in the season, but if anyone's trying to get out on some fish one more time this year, make sure to go look them up. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below in my description to their website. Super solid dudes, and they usually put you on some fish. And their houses are freaking pimp. Like, look at this house. I am laying on bed watching outdoor boys and got a pan and optics over there this is pretty sweet also before we end this i got to give one last huge shout out to pc fun fishing also when y'all are in the market for some awesome reels or some new ice fishing gear go check them out i'm gonna leave a link down below in my description i'm also gonna throw a link down in the comments for pc fun and i think that's it i love y'all peace out subscribe for more we'll see you next time